Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner. We have finally another unboxing. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, GearUp260. And we have a couple of small boxes here that finally came back from CGC yesterday. Slightly bigger one here. And I believe these are from the signing event. Um, which one, which one? No, Jim Lee's coming on Friday, uh, Monday, Monday. These were, these were, these were, oh, I guess we're gonna have to open them up and see. I don't recall. Hmm. Oh, these are the Liefeld signing. Yes, yes, Rob Liefeld. All right. I think I have a couple of books in here too. Let's see what we got back. The odd thing is, I believe I sent seven books total. Why would they send them back in two separate two separate boxes? Is what I find odd. So, Jesus man. If we can pick this thing up like there's no tomorrow. It's taped and stuck and glued. Jesus. Never did that before. things again okay what so they sent this one back separately i don't know why it's the evangeline number one maximum press 1995 i think that's an acetate cover is that what it says oh no it's a hollow chrome edition and 9.8 very nice very nice okay next so they are using those big 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 pouchy bubbly things which seems to be giving some adequate protection to the slabs let's check this one out it's pretty flat yeah there's a little bit of lifting at the two ends but nothing drastic i mean they slabs have been like that for years and years and years you can't expect a piece of plastic to be perfectly flat especially when there's you know something with inside it that actually has some weight to it and um i don't know man i don't know i think some people are really extra picky and they exaggerate about the smallest things i could pull up slabs i could pull out slabs from my collection honestly that were probably done five ten years ago that will have some slight corner lifts at the at the edge um at the edges you know i'll tell you where so um for example this one here if you look at it I don't know if you guys could see, but the top edge and the bottom edge are slightly curved up compared to the center. That doesn't mean the book is going to get damaged. Same here. Okay. It's so, so minimal that it doesn't hurt the book. I mean, this book is a 9.8. It's a big book. And I would be pissed if there was damages to it. And I'm looking at it right now, and I'm telling you guys, it's flawless. There isn't a single tick on the book. This is a real 9.8. It deserves a 9.8, and it got a 9.8. And the inner sleeve has some curves at the end. Does it damage the book? No. Does it cause any creases? Does it cause any type of waves to the book no it's perfectly fine i find that this whole banana gate thing personally from my experiences from what i got back from cgc people are exaggerating big time big time about the whole thing maybe maybe some books got damaged i don't know but i did not receive a single book that had any damages 
due to the fact that there was some curvatures to uh, to the inner sleeves that hold the book. This one has a major bend, major, worse than the first one that I just looked at. And again, I'm looking at the book and there's really no stress along the spine. There's no creasing. There's no, um, there's nothing that worries me or concerns me that this book is going to get damaged in any way because of the inner sleeve, to be very honest. So this 9.6 actually looks as good as the 9.8. If I'm going to be very honest, I might even suggest the owner of this book send back the book to CGC and have it pressed and regraded. Perhaps it may come back a 9.8. Next, I believe this is my copy. Yay. So this was a 9.4. And uh, I tried to, you know, get it up to a 9.8. But it does have a major flaw in the back. There was a very deep groove that I was able to press out uh, of the top corner of the book. But it did leave a small crease. So that is or has been noted in the grader's notes. And that is the reason why it remained a 9.4. Which I am very happy with extremely happy with to put this in my collection and uh, yeah I could still see that live it's such a small color break but I'm glad it came back a 9.4 at least it stayed a 9.4 so next we have oh an 8.5 man same book so um yeah this is normal uh, I wasn't expecting anything higher than an 8.5 actually lots of spine ticks um, and it's a very, very respectable grade for the condition of the book. And last but not least, we have the foil edition. Very cool. Had it signed in purple. Looks pretty, uh, pretty sick. And uh, that's it, man. This one is already gone to a new home. Congratulations, Chris. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that unboxing. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, I will receive some books right now that are at CGC for in the grading process. Uh, I have 115 books that should be coming back next week. And um, yeah, come back next week, man. We're going to have some, we're going to have a lot of fun doing a lot of unboxings. Again, I'm looking at the foil edition and the, the corner here is lifted upwards. Sure, the middle is sitting at the bottom of the case. And this end is lifted upwards as well. So, again, these are plastic. And, you know, sometimes they're just um, not perfectly flat. I mean, I'm looking at the spine. And again, there's no creasing. There's no spine ticks. There's nothing. So, just my personal opinion. Banana gate totally exaggerated so um that's it guys and uh we'll see everybody next week again thanks for joining